kisses. I do. From what they told us, she was still um, tail wagging, licking, just um, even in that much pain and in that condition. back right leg became necrotic. Um, at that point, the owner decided that the smell was unbearable and took her to um, a Banfield hospital in Atlanta um, to have her euthanized. just her eyes there's just this picture of her laying on her tummy and just you just it's just her face and I don't know what it was it was just one of those things that I told her I said go get the dog please go get her <laughs> Ron was out of town and I got the email that she was gonna be available um, the next day literally was waiting at their doors when they opened <laughs> and as soon as I peeked over her little um, crate area it was like her, her eyes are so, they're like an old soul, like an old human soul, and she just kind of sucked me in. <laughs> so I knew that there was no way that I could leave there without her. It has adapted really well because with, you know, missing the one leg in the back, she used to get really tired really easy, um, just running around. And now it's like, I mean, her endurance is better than mine. I usually leave for work like two days at a time. And um, you know, when I come home, I never expected to be excited to come in and, and have a dog come run into the door to you, you know, because every dog we've ever had has such a bond with Tina because I am gone so much. But it's like her, it's just, it's not, really something that I can even really explain, I don't think, because I think she demands it for one thing. It's a love that, that I didn't know that I could have for an animal. To think how close she came to be being put down is heart-wrenching. She is so incredibly loving. She's like a giant teddy bear. She is amazing. We could not have asked for a better addition. Mm -hmm.